So there's a common thing I hear from cinematographers who want to practice their skills in the realm of cinematography. It's one that I've said myself plenty of times, and I'm sure you have too. That statement being, I don't know what to film. A while back, I kept wanting to film. Like I really, really wanted to film to help strengthen my skills in cinematography. The drive was there, but the subject of what to film was lacking. After some time, what to film became more prevalent with different techniques and strategies of coming up with ideas to come up with ideas, either being simple or large. That being said, I'm going to share with you how I get my ideas to practice my cinematography. So here are three different ways to find ideas to practice cinematography. A lot of these you might have already heard of or not. Ooh, that looks pretty wide. Or even think they are just plain out too simple or boring. What the hell are you doing here? But trust me, all practice is good practice. You can use these tips with just yourself, which I find myself in that situation a lot, or by calling up a couple of friends. The first tip is choose a scene from a movie. And that might seem obvious to some people, but seriously, try it if you haven't. Choose one from any movie, big or small, and try to recreate it in your own way. That, right there. This allows you to practice and experience the same techniques that they would do on an actual film. And it doesn't have to be perfect or exact as the movie, just practice it. For example, if you don't know anything about me, just know that I am the biggest Irishman movie fan. There's a scene in the movie where Frank, played by Robert De Niro, holds a gun to someone and politely asks them to get in his car. Yeah, don't get cute with me. The whole thing was shot within the car and I really wanted to practice that. So within a span of an hour or so, I invited some friends over and tried it in my own driveway. No planning, no script, just a movie reference. And in all honesty, I was extremely happy with it and I got more than what I was asking for. Oh, okay, all right, all right. get in the fucking car. My favorite thing to do is to look at shots from movies and think, how can I recreate this? There are so many beautiful single shots from movies, so why not just do it yourself? And with the power of the internet, shots can be found with ease. Websites like shotdeck.com, film.ai, and Shot Cafe are amazing generators to find still shots from movies. By typing in subjects or situations, these websites will find stills from scenes that best match your description. My favorite one to use is Shot Deck, and no, this is not a sponsored video by any means. I recently used Shot Deck to find different shot ideas while in an elevator. I saw this exact photo on the site and wanted to do something with an elevator at that point. When typing in elevator, I found multiple examples for me to practice. So like I did previously, I called up some friends for an hour or so and went to the library a few blocks away to film in their elevator. However, Shot Deck only has a two week trial for free. So going with some other site might be your best bet if you're looking for something cheaper or even free. I actually use Pinterest a lot for these situations just for finding some basic shots. You can't be super specific with it, but it allows you to give you some examples. This allows you to get multiple ideas for multiple locations, including something as close as your room. And I highly recommend checking these websites out. A lot of directors have their special signature shot to each one of their films. Wes Anderson with symmetry and the use of Northeast, South and West technique, John Ford's doorway shot, Quentin Tarantino's feet or trunk shot, and Christopher Nolan with his back to the camera shot. All being unique, but can be used in multiple different ways. I highly suggest using these techniques for your own and practice them. Choose something small, like your doorway in your room or objects on your table to practice. Use the techniques that these directors use and study them. With all that has been said, any of these techniques can be done on your own at home with any item, you as your own actor or at some sort of different location with friends. The moral of this whole video is to just keep filming, don't stop. Pick up your camera and film anything. Any practice is good practice. It's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be exactly what you wanted, but the goal of it is to learn something. Every single practice shot I do, I learn something new, whether it being big or small. So please pick up your camera, either being a cinema grade camera or just your phone and just film 
anything. These tips will definitely help you along the way. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate all the support. If you want to keep up with me, follow my socials at Porker underscore 13 or join our Discord. I love to hear the feedback that you guys have or even just see what you guys are working on. So please, like I said earlier, join our Discord or put them in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and please keep on filming.